so here I have already applied my tips. Now I'm just applying my prep aid and this is just going to remove any natural oils from the nail. After that, I'm just applying my acid free primer and this is just gonna help the acrylic adhere better to the nail. Now I'm just applying a very thin layer of clear acrylic and this is just to protect my natural nail once I want to change the design. I can just file down to this layer and not file into my nail. Now as you can see here I'm doing my right hand which means I'm using my left hand which is my non-dominant hand because a lot of you have asked me how I do my nails with my non-dominant hand so here it is. As you can see I don't do anything special I struggle just like everybody else it's just that with that, I guess that with time you kind of get used to it and you get a little bit better at it, but I still struggle with it and it, it just feels awkward and my nails usually don't turn out the same as my other hand. So I always have to end up filing a little bit extra on this one, but like I said, I struggle just like everybody else and here I'm applying this new glam color called um, White Luster. And because I am doing my non-dominant hand, I don't start at the cuticle area because I don't want to work, you know, on blending it and spend all that time and then risk the rest of the acrylic drying on me and not being able to spread it out and, you know, thin it down. So I start below that and just work on, you know, making that acrylic nice and even and smooth. And then I'll work on the cuticle area after that. Now I've also applied the white luster on my ring finger and my middle finger or my index finger and my middle finger um, and I didn't realize that it wasn't recording so you guys won't be able to see that but you can see it here. Um, I just did it on the, on the free edge and then now I'm applying this new acrylic mix called um, Lavender Haze on the ring finger. And I'm also going to apply the lavender haze on the index finger and create that fading effect. I'm also going to apply Electra to the middle finger and also create that fading effect.
always starting with the nail file filing the sidewalls and then after that I'm going to continue with my electric drill or e-file <music> Now I'm just going to clean the nail with pure acetone. This is also going to make the nail a little bit smoother. So now I'm going to apply a 3D flower. I did create this one with a 3D mold, but I will be doing a separate video on that since a lot of you have asked, you know, how to use a 3D mold. So hopefully I'll be able to upload two videos this week. So look out for that. Finally, I'm going to apply my hot gloss gel sealer and I'm only going to apply it to the nail. I'm not going to apply it to the 3D flowers because I don't want to lose all that detail. And that is it. If you guys want to see any more videos, let me know down below. Some of you have asked if I could do the my filming setup and if that is something that you guys want to see. Let me know down below or let me know what other kinds of videos you guys want to see. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.